get it while it's hot. The dude mung is 3,000. No monkey. Hey, what up? It's your boy Duke Monk is back by popular request. Thank you, Gap. <laughs> but anyway, uh, I'm coming to you this way again because first two interviews went flawless, no issue. The last two interviews, for some reason, I had just technical difficulties. So you'll notice in the beginning of this video, no, there's a little microphone feedback, but it goes away. Also, as a disclaimer, I am interviewing the benchmark. And you guys, if anyone knows who it is, because his name is in the title, y'all know this guy. He's hilarious, but he is a very raw character. He just kind of says it how he feels it. So uh, you have been warned. If you have children, they can still watch this, but just know there are a few spots in here that are just, they're just adult and they're just raw. So look, you've been warned. Keep rocking with your boy. All right, do and do that's what it do. What's up, it's your boy Duke Mungus, and today, we have Mr. Five Up Motorcycles, AKA no the Benchmark is what I call him because all of his bikes for some reason is the Benchmark. It, all, of them, all of them run good, all of them run well. And if you're running with his bikes, you have a daggum decent bike on your hands. <laughs> What's going on, man? Very kind of you, nice, uh, nice seeing you, man. Yeah. Good, uh, good to have some conversation with you. Oh so. yeah, definitely, man. Definitely, man. I see you got a bike in the background. I know you are a busy man, so I'm gonna jump right into it. So I do not hold you up for too long so you can get back to whatever it is back there you're working on. Cause it looks like it's okay. pretty dang yeah. intense. <laughs> All right, man, yeah, so. No problem, man, so shoot. What All right, so today? before I start, this is just a disclaimer. This is an open platform. You can give the answer any way you want to. It's all good. Say it how you feel it. Okay. All right. Hey, turn, turn the sensory up to PG-13. Right, yeah. <laughs> you have been warned. <laughs> you have been warned. All right. Hide your wife. Right, yeah. <laughs> For sure. All right, man. Question number one. Before you started riding motorcycles, what made you want to ride? Before you threw your first leg over... What was it about motorcycles that made you, I want to get on these things and ride? Yeah, this is a pretty uh, pretty easy answer because that comes to me immediately, uh, Eli. It uh, has a lot to do with my lineage, my family. Okay. My family always rode. My dad always rode. I grew, grew up uh, riding on the gas tank. Uh, my dad's 68 Triumph Bonneville. <laughs> nice. You know, and, uh, you know, we used to slap a helmet on me, throw a little jacket on me. I was probably seven, eight years old, and yeah. we'd go to a little town, and he, you know, had a wild bike. It was uh, nice. unique. Okay. The Triumph, the European bike. Uh, my dad actually was a uh, Triumph mechanic. Really? Uh, okay. For, yeah, for Triumph Detroit back in the uh, in the seventies. Okay. So mid seventies, he actually worked for. Uh, uh, Triumph Detroit, which was owned by Bobble Pan at the time, which okay. was the world's fastest man on two wheels for quite a few years wow. at Bobble. So, okay. so uh, my father also, we have a lot of memorabilia. He used to go okay. out to the, the Sun Flats and race himself. Also nice. Long before I was even thought of or, you know, dripped down anybody's crack of their asses. <laughs> so, I'm not a, but, uh, you know, and, and he took a big break from riding for a long time. Okay. I was still, as a young kid, always loved uh, motorcycles. Okay. Uh, and I was a scaredy cat, actually, riding passenger with my dad. Really? Wheelie, freak out. I'd go inside crying. Everything else, you know? <laughs> Weird, you know, uh, compared to where I am today. Yeah. But it solidified uh, what I was, uh, what my passion and hobby was going to eventually be. That's for gotcha. sure. Gotcha. Okay, cool. That's what's up, man. That's what's up. That's pretty cool, man. All right, man, we go jump into number two. What was Mr. Fives Up's first motorcycle? That, that could be uh, split into almost a two-part uh, question because I had motorcycles long before I could road legal ride them, and I never really rode them. Like, I, right. I went from uh, restoring them together, uh, put out for the road to uh -huh. sell and mini bikes and boat carts. Wow. Uh, eventually, I pulled my first car myself. Wow. And uh, I burned through a couple of motorcycles in that time. I had a 
78 CB125 that Ooh. I restored and sold. I got gotcha. you. Uh, 1968 Honda 90 that I restored and sold. <laughs> and did some trading, and then uh, I, I wow. guess the uh, most modern bike I had, and I was probably only 14, 15 at the time, uh -huh. uh, was a, a can of tuna. Uh, Katana, <laughs> so, and I, I did some training and I, I stayed away from motorcycles for a long time okay. until 2013 really? so 2013 solidified the first road bike that I had purchased that I was going to illegally mm -hmm. ride with okay. an endorsement okay? gotcha. uh, and as a kid growing up like I uh, just was uh, uh, you know hashing on my dad, you know, being into motorcycles uh -huh. and whatever, we were both into cars and whatever, anything gotcha. natural powered. Yeah. We uh, we went on to me always getting Cycle World at the house. Okay, and, gotcha, yeah. Uh, it's something that stuck in my head was this yellow or green, I forget what color it was. I think it was like the yellow colored uh, Triumph 955 Speed Ooh, Triple okay. when first came out yeah. in the mid 90s or 94-ish uh -huh. or whatever. It was on the cover of Cycle World doing a wheelie. Whoa. It was those little unique bug round large headlights uh -huh. and twin, you know, headlights on it and everything. I was like, that is cool. I just fell in love with naked bikes. You gotcha, know? right. Oh, yeah. And, um, and, and years went on. I was on my way to up at my enclosed trailer with some uh, lighting, and okay. I decided to be in the for a place where I heard Triumph Detroit had reopened. Gotcha. Went in there, went into the... Uh, you know, showroom there, and lo and behold, on the pedestal was a special edition wow. Speed Triple gotcha. 2013 model sitting on the pedestal, and I, I, I fell in love with it. I absolutely wow. fell in love. It had all the best components. It was, uh, you know, 1050 Triple, uh, very special paint scheme that okay. had a, uh, a matte gray uh, color with like a, almost a matte purple powder coated frame, and gotcha. you know. The, Prime did the you know stereo stripes or race stripes on them, uh -huh. and it was just a wicked bike. I loved it, and you know I immediately put an aero exhaust on it. Engineers <laughs> kind of a modern naked cafe looking bike. And, right. Uh, just, uh, literally two months after that, I knew I wanted more bikes, and gotcha. I purchased the bike I currently still own is a 2014. Triumph Rocket 3 because gotcha. I knew a lot of different types of bikes. Right, right, right. Gotcha. If anybody follows uh, what I've done with, uh, you know, 650E or right, right, any right. of my other guys, Molinosity or any of the other guys I've done collabs with, uh, I started really falling in love with bikes and I, I gotcha. ended up with 19 at one time. Yeah, and, I was, yeah, I was just about to say that, yeah. Yeah, man. Yeah, I backed it way down. I'm back down to... Uh, you know, eight current bikes or whatever Ooh. right now, but yes. uh, overall, it, it was a it was a great ride, great experience. I'm still very yeah. passionate about it. Yo, that's that's pretty dope because uh, over here I have my cousin. Uh, he just got a bike, so this is a 2016 ZX10. And just having two bikes in the garages, oh, it's amazing, man. I, I pick which one I want to ride whichever day, and I'm just like, oh, my God. Multiple bikes are the way to go. If I could, I'd probably have, like, 17 of them because, like, they're all so good. Because this year, uh, since I started the Dude Muggins channel, was the first year I got on a naked bike, and I was like, why did nobody tell me these were so much fun? It's like nobody told me. I was like, these things are amazing. <laughs> they're, they're so much fun. You need to talk to uh, Mike Clutch first, NYC. Okay. Uh, Mike, is, Mike is a good friend of mine okay. that was a motor vlogger out of New York. And gotcha. he's been around as long as I have. And okay. him and his uh, girl A do some great content. And gotcha. He has a uh, monster. He has Ooh. a uh, hyper motard, and oh, he just picked nice. himself up on a Ducati Street Fighter. Ooh, and, nice. Uh, nice. Yeah, yeah, 1103cc Street Fighter, Ooh. beautiful bike. Yes. And uh, and he's been toying with uh, moving on to a super bike at some point. Because really? Okay. He just, you know, but he's always had naked, and so gotcha. that's where we connect on this level is, you know, my first bike was a naked bike. I right. ended up with... Uh, uh, S1000 Singular in 2014. Okay. 2016, I had a Monster R. Okay. Uh, and then uh, I also did a KTM Special Edition 1290 Super Duke R. And then Ooh, I also yes. did a Aprilia Tuono Factory uh -huh. in that same time also. And, gotcha. Uh, yeah, just just, just uh, epic bikes to ride. When, gotcha. And all, all those naked bikes were 
very, very, very different from each other. Too. Right, right, right. Yeah, I agree. So, Heck yeah. That's what's up, man. Oh, this is great. This yeah, is great. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to move along because, I, I mean, I can stay and talk about this Ooh, a long time. I'm going to move right along, man. So uh, this uh, question three is the meat and potatoes of why I contacted you uh, in the first place. Um, so I uh, want to know. From uh, my listing on Casual Encounters. So, well, <laughs> 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 and, and one thing y'all got to know about Five Up, you have to listen to him because he'll throw something out there and you'll be like, wait, what? Wait, what? <laughs> Dude, yeah, this they, is... they, they, hit those, they hit those Craigslist ads, but you know where to find them, brother. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Heck yeah, man. Heck yeah. All right, man. So here we go. This is the big question. Present day, why does Steve, Mr. Five Up, why do you ride motorcycles? Oh, man. Uh, I'm not going to put any particular order of importance. Okay. But I would have to say the first things that come to my mind is a camaraderie with the people I've met. Right, right. The yeah. World. Yeah. I, and I, I never yeah. thought I could say this because I, I'm a nobody. And uh, like the amount of people I've met around the world. Right. And, and mainly the United States has just been epic. It's Agreed. all been due to two wheels and motorcycles. Right. Agree. You know, it, it's, it's very unique. It's a unique situation uh -huh. of all different people from all different livings and kids, no kids, yeah. uh, married, uh, <laughs> you know, the LBGQI2, <laughs> you know, they ride, they, yeah. they, they be cool, I don't care what's swinging in the Yeah, line. don't even uh, matter. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, overall, it, it's like... I, People that follow us know that there's a pretty good group of us that all seem to come together and drive right. hundreds and thousands of miles a year gotcha. to meet up and spend time together. And sure, there's competition, and right. there's competitiveness, but the, right. uh, you know, so much roll racing stuff. I, I like to be multifaceted. I love drag racing, yeah. so I drag race my H2 and stuff. Uh, I love road racing or road race, riding, whatever you want to call right. it, because I don't think <laughs> right. say I do it for uh, honing my street skills, and it, it's it's awesome. It's gotcha. just a really, really good time doing track days. I wish Agreed. I could get more of my people that come out and do yeah. it with me, but uh, yeah. so, and there's different types of people and riders from all of those facets, right? Right, right. And, uh, you know, the YouTube thing has really brought me close with you know, you, E, yeah. Uh, yeah. You know, I still talk to people with Dan. I still talk gotcha. to Motor Nasty. Good. You know, I, I talk to, you know, obviously Evan, EJR. Right, yeah. Uh, all these guys have uh, just been super badass, super influential, and we feed off of each other's positive energy. Right. And well, the other part of that question is, I'm a speed freak. Yeah. You know, I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm an absolute motorhead. Yeah. And if it's petrol powered and it's fast uh, and has character, yes. I, I'm in. Yeah. You know? Yeah. I, I truly am in. And uh, I, I love to go out after a very stressful day of you know running my own business, right. working hard uh, on these diesel trucks I work on all the time and just clearing my mind of that. Yeah. Shutting it down and going out for a nice ride, or maybe having a you know a passenger, or going right. out with someone and then talking through the you know, right. communication devices with the centers and having good conversation that just has nothing to do with what you had to tackle. Right, that day. exactly, exactly. Is the last question, but I do have a bonus question. So, what is up next for Five Up Motorcycles? What's what, what's coming up next for you, man? Um. You know, I the people that have been paying attention to this or following me, some may notice I haven't uploaded a video in a year and a half. Right, yeah. I, I don't know. Right, yeah, it's been some time. time. Right? <laughs> yeah, and, and, there, and there's reasons for that. We don't have to elaborate on right, it. Right, yeah. It has nothing to do with me more than anything wanting to enjoy my friends, enjoy the ride. Okay. okay? I, I don't want to be... Uh, distracted, let's say, by worrying more about camera angles gotcha. than 
uh, having a good conversation or my competitive nature kicks in. Gotcha. Or I would rather spend more time on my form and function on the bike, learning right, right. to be as long as possibly can on the bike instead of camera angles. Right, right, so, yeah. Oh, yeah. That, along with my personal business that I, I run to a day-to-day, it, it just got to be too much. Right, yeah. Know? So I, I want to continue pushing yeah. hard to put as many miles on ride with as many friends as possible. Gotcha. But up next, I, I have... I, I, well, I have uh, some stuff going on back here with uh, my BMW, my Ooh, S1000. Yes. Oh, yeah. So that's like why people have seen. Uh, I did go down a few years ago. Uh, the frame is good. Engine's good. Bike still runs right okay, there as it good. sets. It's going back together. It's going to be a full max effort bike. It will actually be my first max effort bike really? that okay. I've ever yeah, been involved with. And gotcha. uh, along with help with... Uh, Brent Tuning, Brox, EJR, okay. you know, these guys have all, you know, lended a helping hand to get this thing back together, help me out, and I'm doing some experimental stuff, whatever. Yeah. But uh, I, I, I always have, the, you know, the apple of my eye or whatever is more than uh, just what I have with uh, my current bikes, uh-huh. I guess you could say. Uh-huh. So there, there's, there's something else up the pike that might be really really okay. interesting okay. that might interest a lot of people gotcha. uh, and let, let's uh say there might be a little bit of hate amongst ah. uh, the internet of my okay. non-close friends okay. that uh really don't mean anything to me because gotcha. they're right. <laughs> so, uh, but yeah yeah we'll, we'll see what happens but the future is still doing well i'm uh Picking and choosing when I ride a lot because okay. of my uh, uh, some medical issues with my uh, eyesight and stuff. But gotcha. I just try to be really, uh, smart and you know is uh, uh, trying to make sure there, there's no one else that can be uh, affected by gotcha. if I decide to go out. Whatever, right. So. Yeah. Gotcha. No, man, I, I like that, man. You uh, you said something that I I deal with personally myself, being a, a husband you know, a father and working, you know, I get to a point to where it's, you know, it's just too much. So I have to back off. So this week I've actually been on vacation and I haven't done much with social media at all. And it was actually, it was a good little break, you know, got to enjoy, you know, time with my fam. I went to church today. I was on my bike probably two and a half hours. Didn't want filming. Didn't have to worry about being dude mungus. I just rode and enjoyed it. And I was like, yo, this was, this was daggum great. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And you need that separation. You yeah. Know? It's just agreed. Like- you know, if, if there wasn't skinny people, there wouldn't be fat people. If there weren't tall people, there wouldn't be short people, that type of thing. If, right. if you don't ride without a camera and uh, separate yourself right. from right. doing a job, it starts ruining the passion of yeah. the hobby, in my opinion, for me personally. No, I agree. Uh, I 100% agree. It, it, it's, it's nice to be like, okay, now it's time to business. Now we're going to get some great footage, whatever. Yeah. And now it's time for me to clear my head or to spend some time with a particular person that, you know, I hang out with. And I, I, I give you a lot of credit because I don't know how I would do it running a business uh, single handedly. It's uh, intense, man. Having wife, having yeah. kids. Yeah. Because all of those things take precedence yeah. over this stuff. Yeah. 120%. Agreed. Yep. You know, that, that just fills in the, the, the cracks. So right. <laughs> it's, it's a difficult thing to uh, be able to time manage. Gotcha. That's for sure. Agreed, man. Agreed, man. Well, you actually, I had one more question for you, but you actually kind of dove into that. Uh, yesterday when I interviewed Evan, EJR, he was like, you should start asking people, you know, What's their next motorcycle going to be? So you kind of dove into that a little bit. So I'm going to just let you do that when you decide to do it. So no one knows what's yeah. going on. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not a, uh, yeah. not a set thing. We'll okay. see what happens. Maybe okay. by the time that uh, video makes it, yeah. uh, we're going to have a big surprise or no surprise. Right. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to get one or the other. <laughs> One dollar, fifty-fifty. Roll the dice. Gotcha. Cool, man. Cool. All right, man. Well, look, I'm not gonna hold you up because I know you're a busy man. I just want to thank you and appreciate you for your time and willingness to film oh, this, uh, film this episode for me. So the whole Why We Ride series, I'm trying to bring us back to what made us start riding. Get away from this drama stuff and do. Let's just start having fun again. Yeah, I, I just had a nice long conversation with. Uh, 
you know, a good friend of mine in the community that we both know. Okay. And uh, it, it, it was just, there, there is drama. There's yeah. always drama when it comes to competitive. Right, so right. We, we don't need a big group of no, no. people mm. to uh, surround ourselves with. Right. We can choose the people that we want to spend time with right. and right. be around and still be competitive right. and still have a gosh dang lot of fun. Right, right? exactly. And, and that's what it's all about. So you don't have to associate yourself you don't. with that. Nor do you have to judge what they're doing. That's right. up to them. Right. You know? So right. just like uh, what we do with our bikes, you and I catch uh, plenty of yeah. uh, <laughs> doing what we do with our Ducatis. Yeah. And I, I don't care. You right. Know, I, don't, I don't choose to uh, troll and find where these people live and send hate mail to their addresses right. and right. you know burn stuff on their front yard or whatever. Right. I, I'm just not into that. If you choose, you want to do a certain something with your forty thousand dollar bike. Um, if you're not making that payment for me, yeah, you dude. No thank you. <laughs> So, yes. hey, you know, I'm taking, uh, you know, Patreon, I'm taking donate. No, I'm not. Really. <laughs> I'll take donations. If, if, you want, if you want your part in me uh, putting together a bike for me to ride, right, yeah. you know, you'll have to start sending some payroll. Right. I'm going to accept each and food stamps if needed. Yeah. So. <laughs> No, I agree. I I promise I'm going to let you go because, I mean, I just love our conversation, but I promise I'm going to let you go. And the reason uh, I haven't put any videos out yet because I didn't want anyone to hear what anyone else said for the start. So I got five people starting, and one of the people I talked to was Jeff B. Quick, and you guys said something that's exactly the same. Like, if you're hanging out with somebody and the drama's coming up and you're not having fun, you don't have to hang around those people. You can just go do something else and you said something you don't have to have this big group of people to have fun you just pick the right people and you'll, it, you'll it be okay be yeah they could be a small circle quality yeah. not quantity exactly 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 man all right man i promise i'm letting you go because i literally could talk to you all day man but dude one more time i appreciate you thank you five up for coming on eli thank you very much and i appreciate this and i can't wait for this uh video to come out and more than anything, I can't wait to uh, wake up with you uh, sitting at the foot of my bed again. Yes! <laughs> there, I have to see if somebody has a picture of this. <laughs> oh my god, these are Detroit shenanigans nobody knows about. <laughs> Blue Chocolata. Thank you for watching, dudes. No market. No market. Thank you for watching, dudes. No market.